hi welcome to parametric house in this tutorial we want to talk about linkitix and how you can use this plugin which we have developed recently you can simply go to foodforrhino.com and uh, by searching linkitix you can find it uh, just download it from here uh, i'm going to say keep and by downloading this plugin you have to put it in the uh, folders so what i want to do here is to go to file special folder and put it in the components folder and uh, just copy this in here and we will have this linkitix plugin uh, simply right click on the gha file and go to the properties i'm going to click this here and if you see anything saying unblock just unblock this and apply and restart your rhino grasshopper okay when you do that you will have the Linkitix plugin here. I'm just going to show you for this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, the auxetic materials. Uh, let's go to the auxetic materials and just head to the rectangular one. And I'm going to put the bifocals plugin so you can see what I'm doing. And as you can see here, uh, we will have a series of polylines in a plane. Uh, this is great if you want to give it a plane. For example, if I want to give it an XZ plane and extract a point, we can move it in different locations. Uh, the next part is the length and the width of these uh, polylines. So let's just give this a number slider. I'm going to change this here. Control C, Control V. And you can see that we can change the width and the length. Uh, the next part is the number of the X and Y extending of this uh, polyline. So I'm going to say from one to maybe eight. If I give this like one to the X and one to the Y, uh, you can see the base pattern here, which is really easy to use in your projects and the next part which is really important and the last input is the motion and you can see it's like a number between 0 and 1 so I'm going to give this a number slider between 0 and 1 and it's from the start to the end okay so let's just increase the number of these in the X and the Y direction and open and close them Okay, if you want to see the actual polylines, you can simply go to the palms menu and use a surface and connect it to these polylines. That's exactly what you can get uh, from this component. And you can see these. These are actually rotating uh, along these corners and are connected. And you can also decrease or increase the numbers and get the motion here. Uh, what if I want to make this uh, like a box? You can uh, copy paste this. This time I'm going to put this in a YZ plane. So let's just give this a YZ plane. Use the same origin. Give it to this plane. And you can see by changing this, it's actually connecting. Again, we can connect that to a plane. And if I give this the same motion, it's going to close like this. That's it. Uh, you can also make it a box if you want to. Again, we have to make a plane for here and here. Uh, so what I want to do is to make a mirror. So I'm going to say MIR, this icon, or you can find it here in the transform and in the gludian. Again, I'm going to say XZ plane. And what we want to do here is to actually put this point right here, like at the center of this plane. So what we need here is to define a box here. I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, we can go to the surface and find a bounding box. 
for example, the bounding box of these polylines. Uh, right click and use the union box because we want the unified box here. Uh, then I'm going to go and use the area of this and use that as the centroid. Okay. You can see that it's actually get it better. What we want to do is to mirror this one. So I'm going to use two surfaces, one for the XZ plane and one for the YZ plane and just mirror the X Z plane here to get it right. And this time we're going to also mirror this one uh, in the next plane. So I'm going to again use this mirror. We need a YZ plane because we want to mirror this in the YZ plane to get it right here. Uh, I'm going to use a YZ plane. And again we have to find the bounding box and the centroid of these polylines and give it to the here. Okay, that's it. And uh, now you can just turn everything off. And you can see how easy it is to make a uh, make an oxidic material. If we wanted to change the numbers of these extensions, you can see that you can also use that for your design and that's it. So this was the first example I wanted to show you. You can use uh, the Linkitix plugin. Uh, for the oxytic material, uh, let's, let me just show you how these three other components work. For the first one, it's the hexagonal triangles, which you can see here. Uh, let me again connect a surface to this and take a look at top. Again, remember the motion is going to be a number between zero and one. You can see how easy it is to open and close this. Uh, the length is simply a number, which we can change. And there is a number in X and Y extension. So if I just give this one and one, uh, this is the unit we have used. But in the future, we're going to also uh, expand this pattern, not only in the X, Y direction, but also in a radial direction. So maybe you can do, use that for a radial pattern. So now you can see that we have this opening and closing of this oxytic material by simply giving a number slider to the motion. Uh, again, I'm going to make this example here. And uh, the rectangular second pattern, we just give this an XZ plane and extract it, move it here so we can see the pattern. Again, we can give a length and the width for the rectangles, a number for the extension. This is the base pattern here. And if I give a motion, you can see how it's going to close and open. So if I just extend that, you can use that for your facade, for example, a parametric facade pattern. Let's just give this a surface. If it's like 0 0.5, it's actually a complete checkerboard uh, pattern. And if I just change that, you can see it's going to change the direction here. It can be the openings and the panels by using a surface to the polylines. Uh, and the last one, is the triangular pattern. Let's just give this 
a plane, whatever plane you want to use that. It's really easy. Uh, again, we can give this a number slider for the length. I'm just going to change the size. Uh, if we connect surface to this, you can see the pattern. This is the base unit. And if I give it a motion, you can see that I can open and close these pattern. Uh, for the invert, you can just right click and invert the true and false. It's like two patterns you can use. Uh, let me increase the numbers here. So if I just put it to true and false, you can get two patterns. here. So that is the way you can use the Linkitix plugin to design your auxetic materials. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.